All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a quick basic camera test between these two phones, the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. These phones came out within 10 years of each other and it's pretty crazy to believe that the iPhone 4 came out all the way back in 2010, but I figured what better way to do this than to actually take these phones to the local lake and take photos outside. So that's exactly what we did in this video. And you guys are gonna see a quick little photo and video comparison between the back and front cameras. So the first thing that we did was take some normal photos in regular daylight outside. And as you can see, the 12 Pro Max is a little bit warmer in terms of the image that it produces. The iPhone 4 looks like it's a little bit cooler, but this last image over here, I mean, it isn't too bad. The iPhone 4 is still a really great device. And I also want to mention that over the years, of course, Apple has added, you know, this two and a half times optical zoom to the 12 Pro Max. This essentially allows us to zoom really close into certain objects, but the iPhone 4 had just digital zoom and the experience was just not the same. And as you guys might have seen, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, of course, has so many different features in terms of what the camera is capable of doing. But if you switch all the way to the iPhone 4, and keep in mind, this phone came out in 2010, the only thing that you really had was the flash and HDR. And HDR really just enhanced the image a little bit more, and you would know that it was on if you saw this little scrolling wheel. And the funny thing is that on the 12 Pro Max, there are so many different camera options within the actual camera settings, but on the iPhone 4, we don't even have a camera settings. We just have the photo settings and the option to keep the normal photo for HDR because every time you would take a photo with HDR, it would essentially save two photos. And now let's do a quick video and audio test of the back camera between these two phones. All right, so this is on the iPhone 4. I have no idea how bad the sound quality is gonna be, but so far it looks pretty good. I mean, I can see the screen a lot better on this phone, so. And I also had a few other videos to show you as well. So this one was just walking down the road and notice how shaky the iPhone 4 was. And then another video over here. And honestly, it's not too bad for a phone that's over 10 years old. And I also wanted to compare the front camera but specifically on the iPhone 4 because things got pretty interesting and I want you to take a look at this. Low lighting, not that good, but I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Like I said, I'm literally looking at a phone screen. I need to play this on my computer to see the end result. But so far what I'm seeing, it's not that bad. Okay, but all jokes aside, the iPhone 4 is still one of my favorite iPhones of all time. This thing is so small, you could literally just use it with one hand. It's perfect for one-handed use. But I also wanted to mention that throughout the filming of this entire video, we managed to retain 91% of battery, which is just absolutely impressive from this phone. But anyways, that brings us to the end of this video, and I know I'm going to get a lot of questions asked from people asking me why I didn't review a newer version on the iPhone 4 because a lot of the newer versions of iOS support camera enhancements, they have new camera settings and the reason why I didn't use those was because this is what the phone was like in 2010. We didn't have any of those features back then and I wanted to make this comparison as realistic as possible. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.